Hey guys, it's Lori at ArdentDesigns.ca. I'm going to show you how to do this uh, pair of sunglasses, which I have used on a character design, and you can see that in my Instagram profile. It's basically a starfish, and he's wearing some sunglasses. So if you want to wear some sunglasses for one of your characters, this is how you do it. So we'll grab the circles tool, just click on the board, and we'll create some sort of oval shape like that. And I'm going to take that stroke off for now. Press Shift and X. We just want to fill color, so we'll do something like that. I'll press Control D to duplicate it. And I'm going to drag it maybe about here. Uh, and then I'll grab the squares and rectangles tool and I'm going to drag across here. I'll change the color. That's awfully bright. Um, I'm going to change the color of the circles as well. Something less bright. Uh, maybe this red here. Okay, um, I'm going to take the circles and I'm going to merge them together by going to Path and Union. I'll press Shift. I'll take this rectangle. Actually, I'm going to move it down a little bit. And I'm going to cut the, the, um, this portion off. So I'll press Shift and I'll select both objects and then we'll go to Path and Difference. Okay, um, if you don't like the shape, you can just adjust it a little bit. It's gonna work just fine for me. Um, let's, let's make a rectangle for the arm. Actually, let's, uh, let's rotate this a little bit. I'll click it again to get the rotation handle and I'm just gonna move it, rotate it up to give it a slight angle. Okay, something like that. I'll click off the graphic, script the uh, rectangle tool, click and drag to create a rectangle. And that might be too fat. Click it again to get the rotation handles. And you'll see we've, we, this is on an angle as well. So let's position this to something that makes sense. Okay, let's, let's drop that to the bottom. We don't need it on the top. All right, so we have this hooked end here. That'll do. Okay, pen tool. We're gonna click on the pen tool and I'm gonna turn these snaps on because they're very helpful sometimes. Click onto the arm there and just going to click and pull. And then, of course, we have we need a corner, so let's press Shift and L, which I hope one day Inkscape updates this pen so you don't have to do that, so we have better shortcuts. And then we'll click and pull. And Shift L. And I'll give it, uh, I'll press L, uh, F7 to get the dropper tool and I'll fill it in with the same color. I'll press Shift and this X down in the bottom corner to get rid of the stroke. Get the select tool, I'll press shift and select the arm here and we'll go path, union. Okay, and so it's all one shape. Now, I should have done this beforehand, but Inkscape came up with something um, around corners widget. So let's go to path and path effects. Let's have a look, see if this works. So with the arm selected, we're gonna add Click Add, Path Effects. It's called Corners, Fillet, and Chamfer. Let's click on that. Let's click on this one and pull. Oh, look at that. That's so lovely. Okay, let's click off the graphic. So we've rounded that up. Maybe too much. Let's try it again. I'll just round it a little bit. All right, much better. All right. And then I'll X out of this uh, path effects. I don't need it anymore. 
path and object to path. I'm going to finalize that. Okay, zooming out. Let's select this arm. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. And then I'll drag another copy over here to create the second arm. Now, when you're doing character design, you, you want to have your arms in pieces. You don't necessarily, you might not need this second arm, you know what I mean? Like if you had your character, he might, uh, he has to fit inside. So this arm would be in the back. So it's a good idea to not uh, merge them together, I guess is what I'm saying. Don't, don't union them together. Leave your arms separate and ungroupable. So let's select this front piece here. Let's press Control D to duplicate it, and we'll change it a different color. Let's give it uh, maybe this um, blue color. And we're going to want it to be smaller. So let's go to Path and Dynamic Offset. Let's grab this little node here. Oh, okay, so let's turn our snaps off. They're getting in the way. Always forget to do that. So let's pull this thing in. So we have a little bit of space, and then we'll go path, object to path. Now let's move this over a little bit. So now we're going to grab the rectangles tool. Let's click on the screen and we'll create some rectangles. Uh, that size is probably fine. Let's give it another color. Let's give it uh, maybe this light blue here, or maybe a black for now. Um, Okay, let's, let's duplicate it. Control D to duplicate it. We press Control to drag it over. Let's turn these snaps off as well. Let's make this one skinnier. Press Control D, we'll duplicate it. And I'll move another copy here. And Control D, I'll move a copy over here. It's not entirely necessary to be symmetrical, but um, we'll do it for this tutorial. Let's select all of these objects here, these rectangles. We'll go down to the, up, up to uh, align and distribute here, and we're gonna choose this one right here, distribute. Okay, so it just evenly spaces them all. So let's, um, let's go path, object to path to finalize that, and then path, union to make it all one object. Now let's test it out, see how it fits. Let's click it again to get the rotation handles. And how much of a rotation is up to you? Um, now, the other thing that we need to know here is that you the um, these rectangles are going over top of the blue object here. So they extend a path on both sides. We need to do that. So let's duplicate this, Control D. And I'll move it over to this side. And I'm going to move it up just to make sure that it's through the, uh, the blue object there. So let's grab this blue object. And I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. These two gray objects, let's merge them together as well. So select the, both the gray objects, Path and Union. All one object, press shift to select the blue object along with the gray objects, and then we'll go path, intersection. All right, looks good. So I've colored it kind of a purple color because it matched my starfish, my starfish design that I made. You can color this whatever you like. I'll press F7 to get the dropper tool, and I'll color it that purple color. All these red objects. Let's make them press shift to select all the red objects and let's make them black. And this blue object can also turn black. Okay, so that is how you can create a pair of sunglasses for your character designs. If you like the tutorial, please do hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.